Um, in this project, I've started by looking outwards and capturing examples of innovations from a variety of different sectors. These innovations have application or potential application in improving the humanitarian sector and specifically the refugee context. I've been taking these examples and storing them in our humanitarian solutions database. The Humanitarian Solutions database is an online space where we've captured our research and storing the information about these innovations. The database contains um, an overview of the innovations. Um, it provides a space for having a dialogue actually about the sustainability of the solutions um, and also what potential they could have in a humanitarian context. So far we've been building up a picture about um, what these innovations mean for the humanitarian sector and what potential they have. Some examples of where innovations are taking place commonly are in social enterprises, in products for emergency responses and a great deal of innovations in mobile phone technology. One example is a mobile phone application which has been designed specifically for local dairy farmers to monitor the markets. iCal is an agricultural application developed for small-scale farmers available over mobile phone. iCal was officially launched in June 2011, offering farmers a cow gestation calendar and access to vets and AI officers across Kenya. As well as these successful examples of innovations, there are challenges in effectively innovating. There's a gap in evaluation methods for testing new ideas and testing whether they'll have a real impact. There are also many failed innovations which go undocumented. We plan to build on this information and learn from best practice and bad practice to help inform a better way of innovating. We're planning to do this in three stages, documenting, conceptualizing, and doing. So firstly, documenting the process of innovation, how people adapt ideas and implement new ideas, and what challenges they face. Secondly, conceptualizing how this innovation process could be improved and taken to different contexts. And thirdly, by doing pilot evaluations in livelihoods contexts, we can help test our approach to bottom-up innovation.